Hello and welcome. You're watching Markets at Money Control. Here we wrap up the day's trading action for you. I'm Rakshita Madan and joining me is Santosh Nair, editor Money Control. Hi Santosh. Hi Rakshita. So Nifty again closer to all time highs around 10,000 mark. Uh, not really following fundamentals here, right? Well, uh, Rakshita, clearly this uh, liquidity market, uh, liquidity driven market for the time being and even though we are, we are having a steady selling by foreign funds almost every other day, uh, the inflows into mutual fund is quite strong at this point in time. Uh, about 20,000 crore came into e pure equity funds in the month of August and almost every month we are seeing about 5,000 crore coming into systematic investment plans. So uh, while the macro fundamentals may not be all that supportive at this point, uh, we'll be looking out for the uh, IIP and the CPI numbers which will be announced in a short while from now. But it's evident that market no longer seems to be taking cognizance of uh, macro indicators. We saw that last week when the GDP numbers were quite disastrous and even after that you had the market steadily climbing. Uh, Surakshita, to answer your question, it, it's more about uh, liquidity rather than fundamentals at this right. point in time. Right. And there's a lot of interest in mid caps as well. What is going on there? So that again the mutual fund uh, inflows explains that to a large extent uh, you are seeing money pouring in, fund managers have to deploy that money somewhere. Now the large caps have already become expensive, it doesn't really make sense trying to uh, put money in those stocks at these levels. So the buying interest is now trickling over down to some of the second line stocks and that is one reason why you are seeing even the mid cap index steadily making new highs. Right. Let's look at the to uh, top gainers and losers then. Uh, so you had uh, Tata Motors, Tata Steel and Sun Pharma among the big gainers among Nifty stocks. Uh, they were up about 3% uh, each. You had a fair bit of buying in FMCG stocks like Hindustan Unilever and Asian Paints as well. Uh, both the stocks uh, rose close to about 2%. DV's lab among the mid caps was up 12%. Uh, now the US FDA is conducting an inspection of its uh, Vishakapatnam Unit 2 which was served an import alert uh, sometime in March. and. Looking at the way the stock price has reacted, it seems as the market is betting on a clean shit for this unit and that improved sentiment for the pharma sector as a whole today. And the BPCL was up about 4%. Uh, the stock, uh, the company has been conferred the Maharatna status. Uh, you saw a fair bit of action in Reddington and HCL Infosystem. Both these companies are distributors of uh, iPhone 8 which will be launched shortly. Uh, positive sentiment around those stocks as well. Uh, you saw some bit of selling pressure in stocks like uh, Wipro, ONGC and Hero Motor Corp. Mm, these were among the prominent laggards in the Nifty. Right. All right, Santosh. Thanks a lot for joining me. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of Markets at Money Control. For more news, views and updates, stay logged on to moneycontrol.com.